it is Black Friday time yet again, and if you aren't familiar with what Black Friday is, for some reason, it's pretty much the Friday after Thanksgiving, where online retailers, uh, large box retailers such as Best Buy, Target, Walmart, GameStop, etc., drop their prices to historic lows to compete with each other and kind of kick off the holiday shopping season leading up to Christmas and all the other holiday traditions and such, and uh, pretty much just some awesome deals. So I've gone through and looked at each individual ad for Best Buy, Target, Walmart, and GameStop. Stop and I picked out the best deals that I definitely think you guys should take a look at if you're looking into buying anything this coming Friday. And uh, I've divided it up into four separate categories. So first off, we have games. Next up, we have console bundles. Then we have accessories such as headsets, controllers, etc. And then we have the best of the rest, which are deals that I just couldn't go without mentioning in this video. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So starting off with the games, we are going to begin at Walmart with NBA 2K16, Madden NFL 16, and FIFA 16 for $27 a piece, which is a pretty good deal, especially considering that these are the this year's sports titles and they're about $25 off their normal price tag so if you're looking to get any of those they are again $27 at Walmart uh, next up the last generation black ops 3 is $29 that is $20 cheaper than its normal price of $49 so if you still have an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 you might want to consider picking this one up I do want to remind you however that this game does not have the campaign for black ops 3 which I hear is pretty good and I've played probably about an hour and a half of it so I it's okay Okay, you're not really missing out on that much, but if you are looking for a uh, new multiplayer experience on an old generation console, this one is $29 at Walmart. Uh, next up, they did kind of a tiered system at Walmart where you've got games for $35, $25, $15, $15, dollars and so we're going to begin with the $35 tier. Uh, within this level, you have Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Destiny Legendary Edition, which comes with the... Um, the additional content that's come out for Destiny, which is pretty substantial, and this is one of the best ways to get into the world of Destiny if you haven't tried it. Uh, then there's also Until Dawn, which is one of the best games on the PlayStation 4, so I hear it's kind of a cult hit, so to speak. And then, of course, you have Forza 6, among a few others. So each of these is $35, which is a pretty good deal, considering that's $25 off some of the year's biggest titles. Next up, the $25 tier includes GTA 5 on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Majora's Mask on the Nintendo 3DS, which I was actually pretty surprised at because it is a Nintendo title and we don't normally see them discounted as much, especially for a Legend of Zelda title. Uh, of course, we have Splatoon, which is also a pretty surprising discount, and of course, The Witcher 3 at $25. And these are, again, some of the year's biggest titles, and then, of course, Grand Theft Auto rarely ever gets a price drop on anything. And then you have some of those Nintendo titles that kind of took me aback, so the $25 tier is also pretty juicy as far as good game deals go. Next up, the $15 tier is where I see a lot of value because it does include some huge titles as well as one that I really think stands out above the rest. So you have Battlefield Hardline, uh, Evolve, Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which I count as a bundle because it does include digital editions of the first Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Gears 3, and Gears of War Judgment if you do play it by the end of the year. So pretty much for $15, you would be getting five games in one if you want to look at it that way. Uh, within this $15 tier, also you have Far Cry 4, Dying Light, Drive Club, Wolfenstein The New Order, Rare Replay, which is a pretty good value in and of itself. This is actually a pretty good idea to check out some of these games because stuff like Drive Club, Wolfenstein The New Order is a great first person shooter and won quite a few awards last year. If you got 15 bucks laying around, this is where you want to be checking out this Black Friday. Finally, last but not least, we have the $8 tier at Walmart, which includes Assassin's Creed Unity, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the Xbox 360, Titanfall on the Xbox One, Call of Duty Ghost, etc. You know, games like this that are kind of less desirable in today's day and age. But for $8, Assassin's Creed Unity, I would say, is a pretty fair value just because of how the game performed, the amount of bugs that were in it. Call of Duty Ghost obviously didn't do that well, but the um, precision in that game I really did admire. So if you have 8 bucks and you want to get rid of it on Black Friday, Friday, you're definitely going to be able to find some games in this $8 price range. Next up at Target, we have the same kind of tiered system with games, except without an $8 option. So starting at the $35 tier, you have the exact same options as Walmart with the addition of Need for Speed, which came out a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, and it hasn't really been received that well, but it is a pretty solid racing game, so I hear. So if you want to pick that up, you can get that for $35. As far as the $20 tier goes, which is $5 cheaper than Walmart's next uh, lowest tier, you have Bloodborne, which is a pretty 
pretty good value, especially considering that it is one of the most iconic PlayStation games of the year, and Dark Souls 2 Scholars of the First Sin. These are the two that stood out to me, and uh, for 20 bucks, you can't really go wrong with either of these titles. And then for $15, you have New Super Mario Bros. 2 or 3 months of Xbox Live. Again, these are just the uh, two items that really stood out to me, but no matter where you go, these games are definitely going to give you some value whenever you buy them at their respective prices. Next up at Target, you have a free $15 gift card when you purchase the old generation version of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Halo 5 Guardians, Super Mario Maker, Splatoon, Rory McIlroy PGA Tour, Forza 6, or Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U. So pretty much you're paying full price for each of these titles, but you do get a free $15 gift card, which I suppose does hold some value, especially since there are going to be sales throughout the holiday season. Finally, at Target, the new music games such as Guitar Hero Live and Rock Band 4 are on a pretty steep discount. So with Guitar Hero Live, you can get the game and the guitar controller for $59, which is the price of a standard game, and it is a pretty good deal, especially since I believe it begins at $100 normally. And then, of course, if you wanted Rock Band 4, you can get the Band in a Box bundle for $199, which includes all of the instruments that you're going to need to play the game. This one really stands out in my mind as a holiday kind of special, just because you're going to have people over at your house, you're going to be able to play these games on your respective console, and to be able to set up the entire band and just jam out with your family and friends sounds like something that would be pretty cool this holiday season. So if that sounds like something that's cool to you, you can pick up the band in a box for $199, or if you are a solo guitarist, so to speak, you can pick up Guitar Hero Live for $59 with the guitar controller. Next up we have stuff at Best Buy, so Project Cars and the Black Ops Combo Pack, which includes Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, are both $19.99. Project Cars is especially surprising because this is one of the best racing games that we've seen on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC, but the uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One offerings are the ones specifically highlighted here on Black Friday, so for $20 bucks, you can't really go wrong. And of course, Black Ops is my personal favorite Call of Duty sub-franchise, so to speak, and you can't really go wrong, especially considering that both of them host uh, pretty awesome multiplayer options. Uh, this year's sports games, similar to Walmart, are $29.99, so that's $2.99 more than they are at Walmart, but if you happen to be at Best Buy, that's not too big of a price to pay. And then if you uh, purchase any of the following games, Halo 5, Fallout 4, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Black Ops 3, or Star Wars Battlefront, you can choose three months of Xbox Live or three months of PlayStation Plus for $5. So these are all pretty good deals, and Best Buy does seem to be offering some pretty awesome discounts on this kind of thing. So Best Buy also has a tiered kind of system, so starting at the top you have the $35 tier so you can get GTA 5, Need for Speed, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, Forza 6, or Splatoon, again pretty similar to Target and Walmart, uh, each for $35. Uh, next down at uh, $25 is Batman Arkham Knight, which is a pretty great game, especially on the PlayStation 4, which is where I originally played it. You can get The Witcher 3, Mad Max, which is great, I played it on the Xbox One, and Borderlands The Hand collection which again is $25 and you're getting two games with that Borderlands bundle so that is a pretty good option if you have that kind of money to throw around at Best Buy. At $20 you can pick up Bloodborne, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, and God of War 3 Remastered amongst others. God of War 3 is the one that really uh, grabbed my eye with this certain tier just because it seems like that's the game that's gotten the best uh, coat of paint so to speak and it is one of those iconic PlayStation franchises. And then at $14.99 you have a couple of options but the main one that stood out to me is Dishonored Definitive Edition because the uh, sequel to this game is coming out sometime in 2016 or 2017 and Dishonored is a pretty solid game. I played it on the Xbox 360 and I enjoyed the uh, variety of ways you could go about accomplishing the uh, task at hand. So if you're looking for a pretty good game that looks good on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, you can pick that one up for only $14.99. Finally, at GameStop, there aren't really that many great offerings on games, but you do have Wolfenstein the Old Blood for $9.99, and you can get Assassin's Creed Unity for free with the purchase of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, in addition to this, you can save $20 on various titles, but the most notable of these titles is Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition, which I hear is functioning pretty well on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, even though microtransactions have been added to it. And then, of course, at GameStop, you can buy two, get one free on all pre-owned products so if you have a couple of bucks laying around maybe you have some store credit these are the options as far as games go that you can check out this Friday 
Next up, as far as consoles go, there are several console bundles, but they're pretty much all the same throughout all four retailers we're going to be taking a look at, but we will break them down retailer by retailer. So starting with Walmart, you have a PlayStation 4 with the Nathan Drake Collection, three of the best games that a PlayStation gamer can experience for $2.99. Then you have a Wii U with uh, Super Smash Bros. and Splatoon for $249. This is the lowest price on a Wii U bundle that I have seen this Black Friday to date. And then from Walmart also you can get a uh, 500GB Xbox One with Gears of War Ultimate Edition and a $30 gift card for $299, which is a pretty good deal, especially with that gift card thrown in. Next up at Target, you can pick up Xbox One with Gears of War Ultimate Edition for $2.99 with a free $60 gift card, which is $30 more than the Walmart gift card. Uh, you can pick up a Wii U with Smash and Splatoon for the same price as Walmart had it at $2.49. You can get a new Nintendo 3DS XL for $179, which is a pretty solid handheld, though the gaming library is a little bit slim, if I had to say so myself. And then you can get a PlayStation 4 with the Nathan Drake Collection for $2.99, which again is one of the deals that's pretty much consistent throughout all of our retailers. So next up at Best Buy, you can get a PlayStation 4 with the Nathan Drake Collection for, guess, $2.99. Uh, you can get an Xbox One with Gears of War Ultimate Edition for $2.99 as well. And at Best Buy, they have a special promotion going on where pretty much you just select what Xbox One bundle you want and you take $50 off of that price. So if you wanted, say, the Elite one, I believe this is how it works, you can just take $50 off off of that elite bundle and there you go there's your black friday special but the uh other kind of xbox one bundle at best buy that really stood out to me is the xbox one that comes with tomb raider and rise of the tomb raider and an extra xbox one controller for 349 so this is the standard price of a normal xbox one however you do get two of the best games on xbox one and another controller valued at 60 dollars. so you're definitely getting your money's worth with this bundle so finally at gamestop you can get several bundles each of which holds its value you against the others you know each of these is a pretty good bundle to get for a Christmas gift or any kind of gift this holiday season so as far as Xbox ones go you can get a one terabyte elite bundle with an elite controller for four hundred and forty nine dollars so uh, the, your first uh, impression is that that is kind of a steep price but keep in mind that the controller itself is normally hundred and fifty dollars and then this uh, special console is actually a new version of an Xbox one that boots up faster it has quicker load times and in general is a better console so you can pick that one up for $450. Uh, next up, you can get the one terabyte Xbox One with Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which again, if you play before New Year's, you get four extra games, you know, Gears 1, 2, 3, uh, and Judgment. So that's in general a pretty good deal. And then you can also get Rare Replay and Ori in the Blind Forest with this bundle for $349. So again, you're getting the one terabyte uh, console and basically eight games, which is not a bad deal for $349. Uh, finally, as far as Xbox Ones go, you can get a 500 gigabyte Xbox One with Gears of War Ultimate Edition for just $299. So again, you're getting all of those extra Gears games with a 500 gigabyte console, and $299 is a pretty good price to pay for that, but it is being uh, kind of competitive with Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. So as far as PlayStation 4 is go, you can get, guess what, PlayStation 4 with the Nathan Drake Collection for $299. But this is the only retailer offering a PlayStation Vita on sale. So you can actually get the Aqua Blue PlayStation Vita Slim for $169. And I have to say, if you have a PlayStation 4, you might want to consider getting the PlayStation Vita because it is a great handheld. It's very underrated. And especially if you already have that PlayStation Plus subscription, it already holds a ton of value with that Instant Games collection. Uh, and then finally, you have a Wii U with Smash and Splatoon for $279, which is $30 more than I believe Target and Walmart are offering it. So if you just happen to be at GameStop and you want to pick up this bundle, you can get it, but you are going to be sacrificing that $30 bucks for convenience. But finally, last but not least, we have accessories that I thought were pretty awesome. This includes headsets, controllers, etc. So starting off at Walmart, you can pick a black DualShock 4 or a black slash camo Xbox One controller for $39, which is a pretty good deal, and you can pick these same exact deals up for five dollars more at Target so either way you know if you're at Target and you want a new controller and you just don't feel like driving to Walmart and getting involved in all of that stuff then you can get it for five dollars more over at Target and in addition to this Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus for three months of each service are $12.50 and $10 respectively so that will at least get you through the holiday season 
Next up at Best Buy, the controllers are like at Walmart, 40 bucks, but you also can get a PlayStation 4 Gold wireless headset for $59.99, and this is one of the better headset options for the PlayStation 4, and what I really like about this headset is that there's this app that you can get on the PlayStation 4 that allows you to select different profiles for different games that you might be playing and get the sound tailored to that exact gaming experience. For instance, if you're playing, say, Killzone Shadowfall, and you want to get some more bass to your explosions, if you want to get some more treble to your gunshot, Shots, then this uh, pre-made sound profile by the developers is going to be able to get you that specific sound that you're looking for and make the game sound the best that it possibly can and it might even give you a little uh, edge up in multiplayer so to speak. In addition to this, you can get the PlayStation camera for the PlayStation 4 for $29.99, and this is great if you're into live streaming. You can uh, live stream directly from your PlayStation 4 to Twitch, YouTube, and I believe Ustream, and this actually allows you to do a face cam kind of thing, really connect with the audience, and I know that as far as live streaming goes, face cams have pretty much become the uh, required accessory for whenever you're actually doing a stream. In addition to this, you can also use it as a mic, I believe, and you can also use it for several games that utilize the camera feature so for $29.99 this is the cheapest I've ever seen this PlayStation 4 camera and if you are in the market for one this is probably the time that you want to hop on that uh, finally, as far as accessories go, you can get a Turtle Beach Air Force X01 wired stereo headset for $39.99, and Turtle Beach is pretty notorious for having awesome um, headsets and accessories and stuff. They do pretty well with sound, and I actually played uh, Xbox 360 on a Turtle Beach headset for a long, long time that I actually bought off of my friend, uh, and it's actually a pretty good headset. So if this one's anything like the one that I used on the Xbox 360, Turtle Beach is an awesome brand, and this is probably going going to be a pretty good headset, especially since it's only $39.99 and you don't run across a headset at that price very often. Last but not least, this is the best of the rest. These things don't necessarily have to do with gaming, but they are really good deals and I just couldn't make this video without at least mentioning them. And so at Best Buy you can get a 49 inch 1080p LED Toshiba television for $149 and of course this is in store only, but luckily Amazon is kind of matching this and upping the ante just a little bit because you can get a 50 inch television for $150 on November the 26th, which is absolutely insane. I'm not even in the the market for a television and I might check out that deal. Uh, also at Best Buy you can get a 128 gigabyte flash drive which is a ton of memory that's like over a fifth of an Xbox One standard edition uh, for $19.99 so if you're looking for a place to store your music, photos, documents if you want to transfer video from one computer to another 128 gigabytes is a ton of memory and for 20 bucks that is actually a steal. Uh, at Walmart, you can get a Fitbit Flex fitness tracker for $59, which is a uh, it's a great little bracelet. Pretty much it tracks your movement, it tracks your sleep patterns, it um, tracks what you eat through an app on your phone, and in general, if you're looking to lead a more healthy lifestyle, if you're looking to get more active, then Fitbit is definitely the best company to do that with, and the Fitbit Flex is a pretty awesome option for accomplishing that goal. Uh, at Target, you can get a knockoff brand Keurig for $29 that actually uses the official Keurig K-Cup. So if you're looking for coffee to keep you up playing all these games that you're going to be buying on Black Friday, $29 will get you that new coffee pot, so to speak. And of course, last but not least, at Walmart on Black Friday, you can get Fruit of the Loom sweatpants for $4, and these things are very, very comfy. So I do want to say that although these are some awesome deals, I guarantee you that by the time this video goes up, there are going to be more deals announced, Amazon is completely unpredictable, and you just can never really predict where the awesome deals are going to come from. So if you want to stay up to the minute on the best deals, monitor Amazon constantly. On Reddit, there are several subreddits. I'll actually link a uh, multi-reddit down below that has a uh, combination of all the different subreddits that I use to keep up on the awesome deals that are going around the internet. And in general, Black Friday, is just going to be crazy so you just have to be attentive make good judgments and make sure that you're getting the lowest price possible on something before you go ahead and lock it down so there you guys have it i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did drop me a like down below and comment what you're going to be picking up on black friday or at least what you're going to be trying to pick up on black friday are there any games you've been waiting a long time to play are you looking for a new television maybe a new stereo system a sound bar etc let me know what you're looking for down in the comment section below and if you are new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other videos uh, be sure to head over there and check out some of that other content because i do upload new stuff like three or four days a week depending on the week so there's always something new on the channel when you drop by the watch some videos and as always i want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video i'll talk to you soon and happy thanksgiving and happy black friday peace